many people take the whole airbrush apart feeling that they have to clean it very thorough all the time. Basically your paint goes in here, it comes through and it comes out there. All of this does not have to come apart unless you have an issue where the paint bubbles back inside there, it gets inside the trigger and all that. We'll go over that in another video but for the most part all you have to do is run some cleaner through it, back, burp it back and forth and it's clean. Now if any time you want to really thoroughly clean it and any of this paint that's on the outside see how it sticks on the outside of the gun? Well it also sticks on the inside of the gun as well. And this right here, just some lacquer gun cleaner, you could take this and you'll see how easy it comes off. Get a little bit on a rag here. And once you got some dried paint, you'll see how it comes right off. Just barely touching it at all. And it'll just clean up the whole airbrush. So if it cleans up the outside of the airbrush that easily, you can imagine how clean it cleans the inside. So what you want to do is take this, take your lacquer cleaner now. Once your airbrush is all dry, you want to make sure that there's no paint in there, no cleaner in there, no water, no nothing, because they don't mix very well. Put that up inside. And all you need to do is spray enough to get it to come out. You don't need to keep spraying it once it's out. Just like that. That means this whole area right here is now full of the lacquer cleaner. And it's sitting in there. It's just soaking and loosening up everything on the outer walls. Take and just put your finger over the front. Push down and pull back a little bit and just burp it. And you'll see. Can you see inside the bottle there? the little particles and all that stuff, that was all stuck on the inside wall, which eventually would have came off and clogged up your airbrush. Run it forward again, burp it back again, and you'll notice it's starting to get some color. This is all stuff that's been sitting inside your airbrush eventually builds up just like I was showing you on the outside of your airbrush. Once you do this, your airbrush will work just like brand new again. Now this airbrush just a couple of minutes ago was very clean. Nothing was coming out, but you don't see the stuff that's on the inside wall. Look at that. Can you see all that? Now another way to thoroughly clean out the airbrush, to just really hose either the cleaner or the lacquer cleaner through the airbrush, is to just take, hold the airbrush so you can press down with your thumb, undo the locking nut in the back, freeing up the needle, and just pull that needle out. This allows a full flow of cleaner to just hose right through there and just pull out any large particles that got freed up or anything like that. Burp it back down in. Once again, push down, unlock it, pull it. Push it back all the way in, lock it. Should be working like brand new again.